everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Beethoven's Tempest Sonata Opus 31 number 2. The first thing that you should know is the D minor scale and it's like this. And Beethoven will use the first chord of the scale to come up with this melody. So we're gonna do the inversion here and we're gonna get to the second inversion and what he'll do is use this note to come up with the first melody. So we'll have A, F, now we're gonna have a passing tone E and then D. And that's all we have. So you could put these fingers here, one, two, three, four. So we could do this. Release. Release. Okay, and short note at the end. So he does this three times, and it's important that you count this. So you could do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And that's it. Now, if we have this here, we could also use the same chord on the left hand, like this. In this case, I'm going to put the third finger, even though it's uncomfortable, and you can punch it like this. If you cannot stretch that far, you could start with this finger, but we'll switch this. So, this is just to show you that we're using the same chord. So, I'm going to do it like this. We're going to match on the first note. Again. And we got the harmony going. Now, the pattern that he'll use, not only uses these notes, but uses the D below like this and he's gonna move them up so we have first of all this and that's it he does this three times now notice the way I did it so I put the fifth finger here we're gonna emphasize a little bit that D we're gonna play the A also emphasize it but he wrote it this way hold it here play D F let go of the D and let go of this one and we keep holding that A an extra pulse there Okay, so we end up like this. And what that does here is a syncopated rhythm. So it jumps a little bit. Okay? Okay. But I understand that Beethoven's pattern is not available to everybody to hold that note there and it's very uncomfortable sometimes. So what you should do at the beginning if you want to play this with ease even though some people might criticize you, you could do 5, 2, 1, 2. And that makes it very simple. Da, 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 da. Okay? Notice that for that fingering, I will have to emphasize that A extra, and then because I let go, I'm holding it with the pedal, which creates a different effect. To be more purist, you will have to do this instead. Hold it. And then let go there. Now, if you do this together, remember that we're counting three, so we could do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And then here it's gonna change the pattern. So we have three times the same pattern and the same left hand. Now he wrote piano, so start very light. Ah. Oh. Short note, ah. Oh. Okay, some of these should have an accent on the D and a quick let go, you know, like this. Now that's a little bit too short for me, so I have da da di da. I'm still cutting it off there, and it's still a short note, so take your time to do it and pick the one you enjoy the most that matches your thoughts. Okay, he wrote Allegretto, and it's a little bit slower than Allegro, but we still have 16 notes, so I like a tempo that moves something like this. Okay, and we got there the first three measures. So I'm gonna play very slowly for you. So we have here, we run the right hand, we match the D with the D, we hold this A coming up, let go. When you get to F, match it, let go, keep the A, match it here, again. Notice how that A stays there, and then we're gonna switch there. For those that can do this, you could do it this way. Put the pedal. It's much more pedaling, you could keep it going. I'm just saying if you have some technical issues doing what he wrote. Now, 
you could keep the pedal all through you have no choice to keep that A but make sure you ring it a little bit more than the other one so if you do this fingering bring that and then let's hear so that we create the syncopation with it if not you will have to do a different a more complicated pedaling which is pedal it there hold it and then let go the pedal in these two notes so you have that A ringing by itself and the same thing for all of them it's a little bit more difficult alright and then just play with E so okay now notice the turn using the same notes we're going this ascending and descending now we're gonna go ascending we skip a note and we do this just one time to switch the harmony to this E which is gonna be a major and if you do the scale da, 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 the fifth degree of the scale we have a major there and he's gonna use that not only that but he's gonna do this opening up and make it a seven so we have a seven there and he'll use this this pattern now so notice now he's going to the seventh and then descending six and fifth and now he'll do this three times same thing we did okay so we have right hand pattern res 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 and here's gonna switch by use the same approach so all right so we have the fifth chord now now, like I said before, if we're using this chord, we could easily put these notes below and play like that. So after we do the three D minors like this, now on the fourth one we're gonna do this, and we match A major. And then here we go back to the chord that we started on. I hope this is simple for you and let's put together this with the left hand. Now that we understand this, we're going to do the same approach and um, the fingers are like for this section when you play this, we're going to add to the A major the note below, the bass and I'll do this A, A, then I hold this thumb here like he wanted to, play these two notes without pedal and then back. Let go. Okay, and this will get you through four measures, so we have four times this. And last one. Alright, notice I'm holding the thumb like he wrote it, but according to your level, like I said before, you could let go of it. And put the pedal for all the notes there. Some people can't even tell, you have to be really trained, you have to be a pianist to know, ah, oh, he's not holding it there. You know what I mean? And we could get into an argument, he hold it there and just, you know. Okay, so I know how to cheat, so I could just no hold in it, but that's not how he wrote it. So if I want to create the effect he wanted, hold. Hold. Okay? that's it now I'm gonna give you the other one is just let go so if it bothers you do all the other time just let go okay let's put this together so after you do this this one here you're gonna match on the fourth bar right there you're gonna match here you run it you get to the E match it here again match A Same matching here. Go again. Single beta there. And then here we go back to D minor, and that's seven measures there. Let's try to play them all very slowly for you to see. So let's try it. Hold it there. Match. Hold it there when we get to A. March. Hold it there. We switch now. 
much. There. Ah. Hold it there. And then we have the same thing in there, D minor. So let's work on measure 8 right there. D minor here, we have this note and the pattern on the left hand is the same. But we're going to mock the same notes. Those are the notes, D, A, D. And when you run this, remember you came from here. We match. And then we match here. And we get to B flat here. Now, when you get to B flat, you have to think on the fourth chord, one, two, three, four, G minor. And what he did is use that B flat there. And you're gonna see this on the left hand. You're gonna put a G, D, G, which all comes from the same chord. Think of it this way. And you could match it here when you do. All of those the same inversions of the same chord so let's do the matches so we start there we run this now we have the same notes and we get here and he's changing the chord again let's do that once again from D minor where we left off so we do measure 8 now match we match here Right. Now notice now that on the left hand you could bring that G and hold it there. Now we have again the D syncopated and then the G. So you could do pa da da do do okay etc. It's gonna keep going. So once you do this match but we don't match anything until we get to here. Okay, here's gonna be your other chord which will be here. E flat major, which we're gonna turn it into the root, the fifth, and the E flat, double up the E flat on top. So when you do, there you match. Let go. Same notes on the chord. You could see inside there the E flat major, and then here we go to E, and we're gonna switch here back to A major. Notice here you have the chord, fifth chord is the scale. So I'm going to do it again from G minor. Hold the left hand. A major. D minor again. You notice the D minor sequence there. We use the same chord. A7 now. Right, maybe it went a little bit fast there, but let's go and do it very slowly. Let's go back to measure eight very slowly. I'm gonna play so. So we have the last time we do this pattern with the hole in there. Match here, G minor here, fourth chord. We hold the left hand, we run this right hand, we get to E flat major, we run the same notes from the chord. Now A major, now in this way, C sharp on the bass, together with E, we run left hand, we're doing diminuendo here, D minor here again, we have the same notes, we switch here, inversion again, A7, we blend in all these notes, go back to D minor here running much here and we repeat the same pattern so what I'm gonna do now is play the whole right hand the whole left hand and together so we have this ah uh, ah uh, three times last time we switch ah uh. Uh, uh, uh. Now we go using the same chords 
Slowly measure one through sixteen. Much there, much here. Same thing. Turn. Much here, same matching on the last one. Much. We switch now. Remember to hold there. Left hand, foot pedal, all the way to the last, change, 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 we get to the loudest point here, crescendo, and then back off here on B flat, when he put piano, just always think it's subito to piano, so you have to change the color, just like here, for instance, when you play crescendo now, crescendo. Now he wrote diminuendo here, a little bit less, a little bit less, and then piano here, crescendo again, and then we get to the loudest point, crescendo. All right, that's it. Okay. The way I like to practice this is maybe play with accents, so I might emphasize every other note. There, emphasize. So I might do this. And I like to also put the accent on the other note, which is going to fall into the syncopated note. Ah! Ah! That's it there. After that, I might do the rhythm, so, so I might do this. I could do the opposite. Or I could do all the measures at once very quickly. Sometimes I even force it much faster than the speed I'm going to play, so I might do this. Alright? Just test whatever works for you. When the run comes up at the end of this part, I might do the accents also, every other note, starting loud and going piano, or starting piano and going loud. Alright? And then do the rhythms the same way. Opposite. And then test it. Something like that. Test the spot that you're uh, thinking on. Now after the run, when we do this, we have loud, we run it, we match here, crescendo, crescendo, crescendo until the last notes, and then subit to piano there. And we repeat the same patterns that we did before. The E flat major, A major. We get to piano here, same notes. Get to the A7. So you could go all the way down to measure 23 and it's all repeat. Now once we get to D here, measure 23, you're gonna run the left hand like this. Just a D major in root position with the D extra in here. So and you're gonna do this, just this. Match it here. And you just run that, leg off each note. 
because of the speed you're going to play it, you're going to just do that probably. Alright? But he not only does that, he has here a change of rhythm, a quick A to the top, and we have there a forzando. Ta da! Important here, a forzando. It doesn't need to be, in this case, it's loud, but you have different kind of forzando. You have to do something that matches what you played before. So when you do, if you do here, alright, and then important here loud, and then da 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 da, da. and you have to get to piano there. Da, 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 da. Okay, you could practice like that. When you play quickly, no, it's not always possible to do it, but something close to that. Da -da, da -da 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 piano afterwards. When you do this together, measure 23, you match this one. That's it. You're coming from here, short note, and then there you match here. You play the A and match the two eights. Then you have this. Left is gonna rest, no pedal, no pedal here. Release. You have the same thing from before, this D minor flipped. You hold it there. A7, this is all the same. And we'll do the same thing here, but in this case, instead of A, we'll use the D. We march there, for sound again, and we start the chromatic scale descending here. Alright? So I'm going to play this very slowly from the run, so we're going to do this. Crescendo. Change the pedal here. Crescendo also. A little bit more. Change. Change. Now piano. Crescendo again. I'm getting too loud. Here loud. Now no pedal. Do, 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 do. Release. Crescendo. Loud again. gonna switch here all right so here we got to measure 29 now okay important that when you do this you have the A in between and then you have A together we run it chromatic scale descending lighter 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 no pedal pedal here hold the left hand short note we do the same loud here we run this Match it, rest and go. Back to the same chords, crescendo. Now here we're gonna do the A7. Instead of this, we're gonna do this. We're gonna take away the A and we're gonna run it like this. Five, two, one. Okay? It's very important here when you do this D minor, you do this. Now you're Right has to go here and your left hand has to go here. It has to switch. Okay? Now let's work on the right hand first. So you have this note and then from here you have to leap. Okay? That transition is important. So the left hand you have the D minor here, A7, but from the last G you have to go all the way down to that A. So in other words, hold it there. And this thumb here helps you to get there. Okay, and we're gonna do a detach. We had a lot of pedaling there. Pedal, pedal, and now here we're gonna leap both hands. All right, and the way I practice this is with rhythms again. Now here, I have to move quickly. Or I could do it the opposite. So let's say if I start fast, that will trigger the leap. So all right. Now the other thing is when you do it together, we could do this up to there. All right. So we could do it to trigger. So the G I have to go quick here and also quick here. 
this section is hard for some people but what you need to do if you do it slowly you get here you get here you march here but when you play the G your right hand already goes here and then afterwards your left hand goes here and then you march it all right I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe also thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and buy me a coffee Thank mm -hmm. you.